My name is Jamin Gurker. I'm an associate real estate broker in the state of Alaska, and my mission is to help you to build an intentional and significant legacy for yourself and your family by coaching you in real estate. And today, we're going to be talking about what's going on in Anchorage, which continues to be a pretty interesting market to be paying attention to uh, for a lot of reasons, not the least of which being this is kind of the biggest market in all of Alaska. And so it's kind of a, a canary in the coal mine for what's going on for the rest of the state. Before we jump into that, though, do make sure, as always, give this video a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And without further ado, let's go and jump into today's market update, looking first at the residential market. Now, the first thing I want to look at is what's going on in the inventory for the properties that are here in Anchorage. Well, I can tell you right now, we do see a drop in the inventory. This time last year, we had about 280 properties that were on the market. Now it's about 190. So we are seeing a pretty significant drop in the number of residential properties that are available. And there's some good reasons for that. Well, we'll talk about why that probably is at the end of the video in the summary. The next thing we want to look at is how many properties are actually selling in this environment. Well, I can tell you this time last year, there was about 270 properties that sold for the month of May. And now we're looking at about 180 that sold in the month of May for Anchorage. So again, that's kind of telling for just the market that we're in. We'll explain what exactly it means in the summary though. All right, now the thing that I know everyone is really tuning in for, and that's to find out what's going on with the average sold price. So the average sold price went from about 492,000 this time last year in May to about 499,000 this year. So we see a modest increase, but what I wanna know is what's going on year to date. So look at the year to date, we actually see an increase of going about 456,000 this time last year about 465,000 this year. So what that tells me is we are seeing approximately a 2% increase for the average sold price. And that's pretty modest right at the moment. Uh, the thing is with all of our, our stats with the average sold price, when we show overall sold, that's the, the actual average sold price for those is not gonna be reflected for a couple of months. So everything that's under contract right now, we're not gonna know what it actually sold for a couple months now. And I can say anecdotally, it's pretty competitive right now. Me working with a number of buyers, we're coming in, we're asking well over asking price, and we're still not the ones walking away with the house. So that does tell me that this is pretty modest right now. I suspect we're gonna see this spike up in the following months though. Now the next thing that I want to know is what's going on in the condo market. So the condo market has long been kind of the red-headed stepchild of the real estate market here in Anchorage. It's been there but there's really been kind of a glut of inventory for, for condos for the longest time and there just hasn't been as much demand uh, for it but we are seeing that uh, the condo market is catching kind of a lucky break because we had about 92 condos that were available on the market this time last year. Now there are about 50. And keep in mind, usually we see around 350, 400 condos available on the market around this time of year. So the fact that we are seeing such a drop in the inventory that's available for condos is pretty telling. Um, I can tell you right now that one of the big reasons that condos are, are becoming so compressed is just the interest rates are going up. And so everyone who has a condo, they're kind of hanging on to it because it's a housing situation that's a little bit more affordable for a lot of folks just because a condo is less expensive than a residential house. And with that being the case, a lot of buyers who are giving up trying to find a single family home are flooding towards the condo market, which is making that, that sector even more competitive than what it was before. Let's take a look though and see what's going on in the number of units sold. And the next thing, like I said, we wanna really look at is what's going on in the number of sold units in this market right at the moment for the month of May. So we went from about 145 condos that sold this time last year in May to 95 this year. So we are seeing a pretty proportional drop in the number of condos that are actually selling. And that's to be expected once you see such a big slice coming out of the inventory that's available for buyers to purchase because you can't buy something that's not there. Now let's take a look at what's going on in the average sold price. So the average sold price went from about 261,000 this time last year to about 270,000 this year for the month of May. Now it has definitely been on 
the uptick quite a bit, really for the entire year. For example, back in March, the average sold price this time last year was about 216. Now it's about 275 for the month of March of this year. For the month of April, it went from 244 to 267. And then for the month of February, so I'm, I'm a little out of order here, went from about 231 to 260,000. So across the entire board, we are in fact seeing a, a pretty sizable uptick in the average sold price. The year to date is uh, up from 244,000 to about 264,000 for just year to date. Now year to date, yeah, that, that can be useful. That cannot, uh, just kind of depends on some variables, especially when we start getting a smaller sample size. But that does tell me that, uh, yeah, we are trending upwards on condos. We are up by about eight and a half percent overall for for condos in Anchorage, and that's not even reflecting the average sold price for the condos that are going under contract right now when the heat is really on. All right, let's take a break real quick here. For those of you who've been watching for a while, you do know that I host a podcast called the Alaskan Journey Podcast, where I interview people who have recently moved up here and kind of talk about their stories, what they think about Alaska so far, and any tips that they have for people who are moving up here. It's also there for those of you who currently live here, and they're going to be answering questions um, that you might have concerning being a landlord, um, you know, mortgage rates, all that good stuff you might have questions about as a homeowner. So do make sure you go check that out. Link for that is going to be in the description down below. Last but not least, let's take a look and see what's going on in the multifamily market. And um, yeah, it's, it's looking pretty scarce right now because this time last year there was about 70 multifamily properties that were available on the market. Now we're looking at about 44. Now that sounds low. And it's actually a lot lower even than it sounds because usually around this time of year, we'd expect to see about anywhere from about 150 to about 200 multifamily properties in Anchorage. So you can see just how much of a cut we're taking in the inventory right now for multifamilies in Anchorage. Now for the number of properties that are actually selling though, we actually see there was a bit of a downtick from about 46 this time last year to 23 this year. Now that's obviously coming down from what we saw this time last year, but just Big picture here from what we see in previous years, it's actually not that big of a difference. Usually we'll see about uh, 20 to maybe 30 properties that are selling around this time of year. So last year was just kind of an abnormally active May for, for multifamilies to be closing, probably because a lot of investors heard that uh, there was gonna be some increase in interest rates and so they wanted to jump on as quickly as they could to try to lock in those lower interest rates because obviously investments are just all about the numbers interest rates go up, that really changes how you're gonna approach it. Last but not least, we see the average sold price went from about 463,000 this time last year to about 504,000 this year. So like I've said before, I really don't really like the, the metric of looking at what's going on in the average sold price in multifamily just because it includes everything from the duplex all the way to the big 30plex commercial property. So it's very difficult to use it as a metric, but we are seeing an increase in appreciation of multifamily properties. I can speak to this as someone who's kind of working on the ground in this asset class. And the reason for that is just rents are going up. So kind of the sweet spot right now, if you're an investor, is to find a property that's currently under rented, but that you can go in, do some improvements, and then get the rents up to the market value for where they, they should be. Because a lot of private landlords will just keep the rents the same for like five years or so. And you know that's great for the tenant. Not so good for you as the landlord because the expenses of everything is going up and it just makes the property less valuable. If someone else can come in though, get those rents to where they need to be, suddenly the property becomes a lot more profitable. Now, what does all this mean? Well, let's approach it this way. If I'm a buyer, I'm approaching this market that right now is probably still the best time for me to jump in. And the reason for that is that there's a real shortage going on because everybody refinanced a couple years ago and nobody wants to, to leave the house that they have a really low interest rate on because they either bought a couple years ago when the interest rates were low or they refinanced during that time. So for that reason, a lot of sellers are really reluctant to sell right now and that's creating the shortage. Now, is this gonna go away? I'm not really thinking that, that this is gonna go away anytime soon because those people are gonna be very reluctant to move unless the interest rates come down. If, if the interest rates do come down, then everyone that's just waiting for interest rates to come down are gonna flood the market again, and that's gonna create a lot of intense competition all over again. So what I'm recommending to my buyers right now, stay on your feet, let's keep getting in there, let's 
get something under contract and then if the interest rates do come down refinance at that point and enjoy the appreciation of your property going up in the meantime the thing to keep in mind in this specific market it's really about a battle of attrition because we have a lot of people who are going to get frustrated probably in a couple weeks to a month here where they're just like, well, forget it. I'm just gonna go back to renting. Like I'm so tired of making a ton of offers and nothing gets accepted. There are multiple offers everywhere. I'm just gonna do the smart thing and, um, and just wait. And you can do that, but the problem is you're just gonna have to slay the dragon next year and it's probably gonna be more intense at that point. Because if interest rates do go up, those sellers are going to hold on even more. If they do come down, then you're going to have even more buyers to, to deal with. So this really is kind of the best market for you to, to jump in and try to get it done. Obviously, had you bought a couple of years ago, that would be optimal. Can't do anything about that right now, though. Now, if you're a seller, this is a really good market for you to be in. And the reason for that is you just have a lot of buyers out there. Not as many as we had before, but you do have buyers and you don't have as much inventory as we've historically had because it just keeps going lower and lower and lower and the biggest driver of the economy is going to be supply and demand as long as there's um, supply that's not in line with what the demand is we're going to continue seeing this this competitive market and um, if you'd like to help with the housing shortage properties being available on the market feel free to reach out to me let's chat a little bit and see how i can help you now if you're an investor with the interest rates going up that doesn't necessarily mean this is the time just to quit and um, to be a fair weather investor you can still get in there and find some good deals really the sweet spot is going to be to go find those properties that are under rented at the moment or maybe they're not being used to their highest and best use based on the zoning if that's something you're interested in feel free to reach out to me let's chat a little bit but this has been your market update for anchorage thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you next time